So where are we going? Amarillo first. And then what? And then hopefully Black Cow Grasslands as long as the storms aren't too bad tonight. And then we ride east. We ride east. Uh, we ride east and then you'll find out then where we're going. So, what are we going to talk about? What do you want to talk about? Uh, I don't know. Well, partly we could talk about the lost files. The lost files. Yep. Things that we didn't get to talk about on the ride because it was so windy. Well, we didn't get to talk about. But Actually, we, we just didn't, didn't capture. Yeah, we didn't get, we can't miss the whole day. I don't know how that happened. No, not the whole day. That, the video that you just saw was Oh, yeah, the, the Rude Awakening. The only rude awakening. I was already awake. You were still snoozing. But you know, uh, that wasn't really a rude awakening. But uh, yeah, the guineas. That was that was uh, kind of neat. Uh, walking through a campground. I guess there was a, there was a little farm, or I, I guess a little family farm yeah, right behind us. With yeah. the, they had greenhouse and stuff like that. And trees and plants and yeah. guineas. I think there were some ducks there too, wasn't there? Yeah, there were some ducks too. Well, the, we were at the, um, we were in Cheyenne. No, not Cheyenne. Uh, oh, Comanche. Comanche, I don't know Comanche why I had, Lake. Sorry, I don't know why I had Cheyenne on the brain. We were in Comanche Lake, and we stayed at their campsite. And, because um, they were the only It's like a city, oh, city lake, city campsite. Sim, yeah, because we were heading towards, we went to Wawrika, which is about, uh, 10, yeah, it was, it was about 30 minutes east. About 30, 30 or minutes, west. 30 minutes to west. the west of uh, Comanche Lake. Well, we went there first. We went there first, and you saw really you nice, saw the video. Which was nice and clean, and but for some reason, it's because it was. Well, it wasn't some reason. No, nice and clean, but because well, it was run by the uh, Army Corps of Engineers, so I guess hence being more of the government run it. Yeah, they and shut it down. They shut it COVID. down, but there was plenty of room to be able to be spaced out without worrying about, but whatever. So we went to Comanche instead, and it well, I knew that we, we we were going to go to Duncan and just get in a hotel. hotel. Yeah, that yeah. was our initial ride, but when we decided, well, Comanche wasn't that far from here, let's just go check it out and find out because we were starting to run out of light, so we had to make a decision fast. So we went ahead and went there. And we saw um, RVers out there. We were the only camp. We were the only tent campers there, but that's okay. So they had a few slots open, so we got to pick our slot. And of course, while we're sitting there getting everything, we hear this. It sounds like a meow to me. And I'm thinking this thing is loud and kind of noxious. They're like, "Oh, uh, hopefully they don't bother you too much." But we got peacocks back here. Yeah, <laughs> so peacocks. It's like they. Forgot you know, about them. If you haven't heard a peacock you know make their little sounds it almost sounds like a weird cat <laughs> but so yeah so that was what we that was at There's the end of the day too. the very end of the day yeah very end of the day but what yeah. happened before that well oh we well of course earlier that day we went through quartz mountains quartz mountains which is my first time ever being there which tent it is part of the wichita uh, mountain range, just not the Wichita Wildlife Refuge. They're in two, sep two totally different parts. They're still in southwestern Oklahoma, but there's still a, quite a bit of distance apart between the two. Um, you have the Wichita Wildlife Refuge in Lawton area, Medicine Park. We, uh, but we were in Quartz Mountain, which is closer to Altus area, but not it is quite Altus. A boaters lake out there. It right? is gorgeous. And if, okay, for it those who are not from Oklahoma, if you've never been to either to Wichita Mountains or the Quartz Mountains, they are they are similar in the color in the colors of the speckles and colors of the rocks, but the rock shapes are different. Quartz Mountains are smoother. <laughs> We're not getting into geology here. No, though. but it does helpful <laughs> in case you ever want to come visit. So, but anyways, <laughs> The, the lake is gorgeous out there. And we yeah, went, it's a boater's paradise. Oh if you're gosh. a boater, oh my gosh. These flies are annoying me. <laughs> yeah, the flies. Uh, but it was super 
busy out there. I mean, the traffic. Oh gosh, we went by the campsite there, and they were packed. And um, this is, we were still not, like, we never, I mean, our state obviously didn't go on full lockdown, but we did close a lot no, of Oh, but we're not going to talk about that. But considering <laughs> that, it was pretty busy. People were just, they were having fun and, you know, spending, well, it was Mother's Day weekend, too. So, yeah. um, but, but even, beyond that. But even before that, we saw this one neat thing happening where this helicopter was spraying because we're talking about the lost files right yeah the, you know lost video file we thought we hit we thought i thought we I, hit record but i thought i hit record but i actually hit stop you no know, because it was already recording and here's a part of the, i'll show you a part of the video uh, so you could barely see you could barely see in the distance the helicopter I'm like, whoa, and I reach up, and I didn't know I was already recording, and I hit the record button again, which told it to stop. So that was one of the lost files, but it, it would have been really cool to, I wish I could have shared you guys it. Yeah, it's over, a lot of fields out there. There's a lot of farmland. There's a, what was the most prominent farming? It's, it's, it's different down oh, there. It's, it's all sorts of stuff. There's I mean, the, there's wheat, there's corn. We, I mean, we pass. I think we pass more cornfields than anything else. Yeah, down south. Because of course, yeah. corn they like to turn into ethanol, which you put that in your gas tank and it turns into water. <sighs> We're not going to talk about that. That was a nightmare a, over a year ago. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. That's in the lost, lost, lost files. No. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> that, was, that was before we decided to record our trips. <laughs> but uh. Uh, what, so what else was there that was kind of cool? Well, it was just kind of fun going to the little towns, you know, just oh. seeing, just seeing, um, you know, just, just going through there and then meeting the people through there too, but, um. There was one other thing that I remember, uh, because we were, we were heading, we were heading eastbound, so it was after we left the campground, and... We were riding by and we saw some horses out in the field, almost like wild horses or something like that. And they were just galloping along. Oh yeah, they were flying. Galloping along. They were they were just having a having a day. Yeah, it was, it was that was kind of neat. I wish I would have got that cat, one. Cattle down, video. cattle down there. Um, this was also the last day that we camped, wasn't it? Yes. We only, yeah, because we only ended up camping two nights. So we, we stayed in two two places that were non-camping, and then we stayed in two camping spots. So, so uh, and then like after we left there, we went to Ardmore, right? I mean, we Lawton, went, uh, well, no, no, Lawton was before we camped. I know, but we didn't we go left, to both, we went to one was Walmart. Well, yeah, but that was before we went to go camp. Right. So we've already we've already passed Lawton. Oh, okay, Lawton's yeah. in the past now. I accidentally on the one of the the past video I accidentally put down uh, that we were heading south out of Ardmore, which we're actually heading south out of Lawton. Yeah, we went to Ardmore, grabbed a bite to eat. We grabbed a bite to eat, but then we also we mailed our pat mailed our we mailed our home. camping gear back home, home. because, because it was it, heavy. It, uh, heavy. Uh, we're talking about. Uh, how many pounds did that all that stuff weigh total? I think it was like 35 pounds. Okay, I don't know. It was 50. It was like 50. Yeah, we, we, we... Because we had... I think yeah, it was 70. Camp. We had two... We had... Actually, hang on. I can tell you exactly how... It was 46 pounds. So it was right. Under 50. Yeah, it was under 50. It was 46 pounds total of camping gear. That doesn't include the duffel bag. That that the sleeping bags. The sli well, no, that, yeah. Because we, we still kept the sleeping bags. We kept the sleeping bags, that's right. So, we used them at K River. But it was two tents. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, my tents. dad was with us on the trip. So we sent some of his stuff back, too, to help lighten his load. And you could, you know, I'll flash some pictures. So, uh, the reason why the, the title of this original video is named um, uh, Like a Thousand Words is because a picture. It's like, like a thousand words. A thousand words. It's just we were lacking of them on this day. Lacking a video, so we, we got a few pictures. Got a few in pictures there. and 
Uh, that's what you're seeing right now as we're talking about this kind of stuff. Yeah, usually I try to get pictures while going down the highway, but I had just bought a new phone the day before because my other one died, literally died. And so, plus the wind was ridiculous this whole trip and I just did not want to risk it. So I left it in the saddlebag and kept it safe. So. Yeah. So. But I'm gotten better with the phone. So keep tuned, you never know what might show up in the next ride. Um, well, we're, we kind of, uh, we're over the 10 minute mark here. Okay, bye. <laughs> that's quick. <laughs> that's like really said. quick. All right, well, uh, see you on the see you on the next ride. Yeah, see you later <laughs> when you ride with us.